<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam and this is Phil. What's up guys? And today we are doing another Shane Gillis video, which I am so excited for. Oh I yeah. Love him. He's so great. Like he has had me crying laughing. Hilarious. This is our fifth one from him now. Yeah, I believe we've done five videos. Well, this will be our fifth from yeah. him and our third from this beautiful dog this, special. Yeah, which is hilarious. Yeah, uh, I think this is pretty recent, 2023, obviously, yeah. so it hasn't been out too long. Um, I think the last one that we did, which was ISIS, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, there was one of them in there that, uh, no, it's not that wasn't the last one that we did, but the ISIS one was the one that we didn't catch all of the joke because he was referencing previous stuff in the comedy special. Oh, okay, okay. So if that happens in this one, guys, yeah, sorry if we're a kind of lost. at a loss because we're doing it in parts and bits, right? This is what, the way we've done the channel. You know, we just like to break it up into 10-minute pieces if we can yeah, and uh, do it bit by bit at a time. We'll probably watch the full special when we get through with this. Yeah, we have to. He's but he's so hilarious. <laughs> The Trump impression is just absolutely The Trump speed away. dating, I thought I was going to pee my pants, literally. Yeah, we didn't mention that we have done that one as well. If that's going to be up before this one, who knows? But anyways, we've done a fair amount of Shane Gillis, but it has not disappointed one time. No. So I'm looking forward to this one. We got Australia is the only country doing nothing. That should be interesting. <laughs> Sounds like there's some hate coming Australia's way. I don't know. <gasps> But are you excited to check it a little bit more? Clearly you are because you just expressed how much you love Shane Gillis. So I am very let's excited. just shut up and get into, into some it. more Shane Gillis. Yeah. I was shitting on Australia. Australia might be number two. That's a good country, dude. There's a whole country doing nothing. That's what I like about them. They're just down there. Zero exports. Creating nothing, dude. They're doing, the only export I've seen come out of Australia is just that YouTube video of that guy punching that kangaroo in the face. Yeah. You know that video, that kangaroo holding that dog hostage out in the woods. Have you seen that video? No. You haven't seen that I video. I don't think so. You have to have seen that video. I don't think so. Should I watch there's it really a, quick? A, yeah. So I know what he's talking about? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Watch it. <laughs> He's literally looking around like what just happened? And he hops off. You saw you saw the punch and everything? <laughs> so that's what happened with the kangaroo. That's what Shane was referring to. He literally looks like a human, the kangaroo. He's like holding him hostage <laughs> like this. Then he's up there like he has box. <laughs> and then afterwards, he's just like, there's so many memes out there. Yeah. About like him getting clipped. And then yeah. And then like, he's like, <laughs> and then he just like takes off hopping away. <laughs> That's great. Owner shows up, squares up with the kangaroo. <laughs> no hesitate. Kangaroo knew it was a fight too. I just walked him. <laughs> if you've seen the video, you know how good that impression is. <laughs> yeah. Australia gave us that. Australia also gave us love on the spectrum. Love on the spectrum. Thank you, Australia. Incredible show. No, I Truly not an so much. Actually, an incredible show. How did this show get made? That's an insane show. The only Australia could have come up with this. Only Australians would be like, all right. You know how autistic people are extremely uncomfortable in social settings? Let's stick a camera in these fucking retards face and watch the <laughs> No, dude. Don't do that. We're all gonna watch it, but don't do that. <laughs> Look at him trying to fuck. <laughs> No, Australia ruled. I only, I only had one negative experience while I was there, and it was uh, I, got, I got bullied. I got made fun of publicly by a goth. They still have goths, dude. Full on, <laughs> black trench coat, black eyeliner. And he made fun of me. I'll give him credit in his defense. The reason he was making fun of me is because I was wearing a bucket hat. I had never done that before. 
There were no black people on the island. I was taking fashion chances the whole time. That's the thing about these countries. I was just in England, Scotland, Ireland, Australia. No black people. And I know what you're thinking. No. <laughs> No, you need, black, you need black people to keep the whites in check. The last thing you want is a whole island of whites that think they're the coolest people on earth. It's a disaster. That's how you end up with Conor McGregor's walking around like, ah, da -da 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 -da. It's like, shut up, dude. The foreign whites are out of control. <laughs> American whites, we're humble. We know we're not the coolest guys around. It's the foreign whites, dude. Is there, yeah, yes! <laughs> Preach, brother! <laughs> yeah. For real, though, there's a reason every good NBA player that's white is from another country. <laughs> the audacity to think you could play in that league, dude. <laughs> the fucking arrogance. Every white dude in America saw a black kid dunk in like eighth grade and was just like, oh, all right. <laughs> there goes that dream. I'll just set picks for the next four years. <laughs> <laughs> just box out hard as hell <laughs> oh man his delivery is so good oh, he's just so nonchalant just box out for four years <laughs> oh god I, I didn't know what he was talking about in the show at first the Australian oh, show oh Love and Spectrum yeah, yeah it's no like a reality clue, TV I've, show I think I figured out what he was yeah. talking about I've never seen it I've just like seen it advertised <laughs> White people used to be cool in America. <laughs> Long time ago, dude. The height, the height of white people being cool was us going, we're like, man. That was as cool as we got. We're like, man, see, ha ha, man. <laughs> and then the day white people stopped being cool, it was Jackie Robinson's first game. <laughs> you can look it up, dude. You can find it. You can find the radio call from that game online. You can hear the exact moment white people stop being cool. You can hear the announcers, they still got, they're like, man. Welcome to Chicago, where the White Sox take on the Brooklyn Dodgers. And we all had cool white nicknames. Like, up at the mound is old Curly. He's a 47-year-old alcoholic. He's the greatest athlete alive. Runs a six-second, 40-yard dash. Fastest man alive, they say. Then it happened, dude. And Jackie came up to the plate. You can hear the announcers like, meh. <laughs> Coming up to the plate is young Codbar from Brooklyn. No way he can hit Curly's pitch. Here comes the pitch. Fuck, home run. All right. <laughs> that was it, dude. Jackie hit the ball so hard he knocked that voice out of all the whites. <laughs> Not one of us has talked like that since. Dude, one swing of the bat. We're like, meh. <clears throat> all right, yeah, that was pretty good. That was good. Good. It's time for us to focus on computers. <laughs> anyway, oh, God. I was in Australia. I was in a bucket hat. I was already self-conscious about the bucket hat. Tried it on in the hotel. Just looked like fucking John Candy. <laughs> I was with my friend. He's a good friend. I was like, I look like a fucking dumbass, right? He was like, nah, dude, you look cool. Also, who cares? No one's gonna give a fuck. Who, I was like, all right, fine. As soon as we got outside of the hotel, somebody gave a fuck. <laughs> I got made fun of immediately. It was the goth. The goth. Dude. I didn't even see him coming, dude. He came out of the shadows like they do. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy, I was standing talking to my friend. He was walking behind us on the sidewalk. He walked behind me, took my hat off my head, put it back down and patted me on the head. I turned around smiling at him because I thought only a friend could have done this. I was like, <laughs> dude, this guy kept walking. He didn't even break stride. He goes, nice hat, fatso. <laughs> just destroyed me oh, for no, God. I had no comeback. I was just like, yeah, right. <laughs> I was like that fucking kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? That was six months ago. I've thought about Oh my God, Jane is hilarious. I'm dead. Is your stomach doing all right? I feel like you're laughing so hard. I have a, a six pack after out. this. <laughs> well, you already have kind of a six pack, but it's going to be a little bit tighter, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah. 
I agree. Oh my, my apps God. are starting to get a little bit of a workout. Too. He's so good. His impressions are just so good on every single the kangaroo, one. kangaroo, the best. <laughs> Especially because I just watched it. I just love how he pops in even with the accents <laughs> as well, right? I said fatso. <laughs> <laughs> that was an epic one one of them and then calling so himself many. john candy i thought i was gonna cry <laughs> he's he's great i love <sighs> shane about that guy every day <laughs> every day i hate him i hate everything i hate that he's a goth from australia <laughs> it's like you can't be that you can't be a goth from australia you sound funny you can't be you know what i mean that guy can't go around like all day i think about death <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like shut up dude I'm actually very dark and twisted. (laughs) No, you're not. You're Australian. You sound funny. (laughs) Australian accent's one of those accents that's funny every single time. You could be in the middle of a fucking tragedy if you heard an Australian accent, you'd still be like... (laughs) You know know what I mean? Like like if there was like an Australian guy in the office on 9-11, it was was like, oh fuck, look out! Oh no, there's another one, get down! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, it's hot up here, gonna have to jump out! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> yeah. Well, 9-11 joke, that's an applause break. Bravo! <laughs> I'll tell you this, on a more serious note, this is something I'm dealing with in my life. I just I recently found out that the girl I'm dating, her ex is a Navy SEAL. That sucks. That sucks dick, dude. That's the worst ex of all time. I never even thought it. You want to feel insecure as a man? So we saw this part, right? Yeah, it's the ISIS part. Yeah, this is the one from the last one that we were talking about in the beginning of the video that we didn't yes. understand so much. Yes. Was the beginning of the joke that leads into it. So anyways, we'll just watch it again. That's the word. I never never even thought of that one. It's like, that could happen to me. I spent my whole life thinking, black guy, worst case on this. <laughs> and by the way, I mean that with all due respect to the black community, dude. For real. I wish people feared my dick like that. <laughs> I, w- I wish my dick struck fear into entire races. <laughs> Nobody fears my dick, dude. Nobody fears my dick. <laughs> Other than like women in parking garages. They... <laughs> <laughs> you get me in a parking garage, all of a sudden my dick's top of the food chain. <laughs> See me lurking behind a pillar in there. Just, <laughs> just with a GameStop bag. Just... Nah, dude, Navy SEAL, it's a tough one. I do this thing, it's not a good thing, but whenever, whenever I'm dating a girl, I always talk shit on her exes. It's not a good look, women don't respect it. it kinda makes me look like a bitch. <laughs> I like it. I, <laughs> I can't stop doing it, and normally it's easy. Normally it's like, what's your ex do? He's a fucking substitute teacher. It's weird he wants to hang out with kids, like, that bad, you know? I, like. <laughs> This one's tough. This is a tough ex to make fun of. This one, I'm walking around the apartment all day, just pfft, fucking Navy SEALs. They're kind of pussies if you really think about it. You know what I mean? Like using night vision, sneaking up on guys. That's a fucking coward's way to fight, dude. That was Shane Gillis. Did it again. Yeah. Like I said, most tears that I've had on the channel is from Shane by far. Yeah, he mm. literally kills me. I would love to see him live. He'd be so funny. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I have to go see his show live. Yeah. I feel like we would just be like rolling on the floor. Yeah, I, th- I actually think he just recently released his tour um, at least a few dates in the U.S. Yeah. Obviously, he's probably just touring Maybe in the we'll U.S. Maybe we'll have to go. Maybe. Anyways, I hope you guys were laughing as hard as we were because that was hilarious. Yeah, he- He's so good. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button for us. Helps with your algorithm and ours. So we'd appreciate that. We appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us. Hit the subscribe button as well because we got lots of comedians. We got so many different types at this point. So many. We keep searching out new ones as well, new material all the time. Comedy will be a part of our channel for the foreseeable future, alongside with the music and the sports that we've been doing. Sports is getting a little bit tighter. We've ran through a lot of the 
top tier sports videos I yeah. feel like um, but there's lots of comedy out there and there's lots of music so that's yes. what you can look forward to and we both really enjoy it I know Sam's jumped on the comedy wagon quite a bit right yeah I never got into comedy like in my historical past and I absolutely love it yeah well I, it's hard not to love that right yeah that's it from us today though guys hit the like button like I said leave us a comment and we'll see you in our next one thanks for watching guys see you next time